I've been testing out Apple's newest classical music app, specifically dedicated to classical music, and I have some thoughts. Apple Music Classical was released to the App Store in late March of 2023, and it prides itself in a massive music library, high quality lossless and spatial audio, and advanced searching options well suited for Western classical music. And I do have to preface this review with Western classical music, and I'll get to more of that later. In general, this is a very well-designed app that provides a unique and tailored experience to listen to classical music. Since you can search for specific metadata like opus and catalog numbers, composers, performers, conductors, and more. For example, quickly finding a recording of the Chicago Symphony playing Tchaikovsky's 1812 Overture would have been difficult on Spotify or iTunes, but it's easily searchable in this app. In fact, I found so many new recordings of some of my favorite pieces just through the discoverability features that this app has in store. Also keep in mind, the lossless audio recordings work best when experienced using a good pair of headphones or speakers, and I never really found myself using Apple's spatial audio features, but maybe my opinion will change over time. Now I really enjoy the user interface of this app. I especially love the serif typeface that gives this app a timeless and refined feel. I also enjoy how composers have their own dedicated pages, where you can search every piece in their published catalog and sort them by popularity or by catalog number. Apple also supplies portraits and biographies of some popular composers. I think Apple did a great job at making classical music seem more accessible and approachable in their app by creating curated and guided playlists like The Story of Classical, which serves as a companion guide through several eras of Western music history from the medieval period to the 21st century. So if you are already subscribed to Apple Music, Access to the standalone app is free, and it will only work on Apple devices, specifically your iPhone. However, if you are not a part of the Apple ecosystem, or use alternative music streaming apps like Spotify, then I'd recommend giving Apple Classical a free trial to see if it's worth it to you. Okay, but who is this app really for? I'm a classically trained musician studying music composition at music school here in college. Um, but my education only covers the Western side of classical music, and so does the contents of this app. There is a severe underrepresentation of global classical music outside of the European tradition. I think Apple needs to be careful with pigeonholing the term classical music and applying it solely to the Western European music that is on their app since that diminishes the musical heritage of many other cultures around the world. But with that being said, so if you're really invested in Western classical music, have an iPhone, and are willing to be immersed in the Apple ecosystem, then this app is right for you. However, there is much work to be done in expanding the bounds of what Apple considers to be classical music. And until then, I can't give my full-fledged support of this app. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below and let's start a discussion. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching and keep writing.